Today, on General Hospital, this is what happened. So, uh, TJ went to Christina's apartment alone, not with Molly. <gasps> and apparently, uh, T Molly suggested that TJ went alone. So, Christina is going to be the, you know, the whole, the whole circuitry thing. Like I said, in one of my last updates, technically Christina and TJ are having a baby. Molly will still be biologically related to the baby, but we know when Christina has it, she's going to hold it up cause it's to her because that's, that that's what causes Christina uh, a bond between a mom and a son or daughter. So Christina's going to hold it up, and Molly won't be able to have that bond with her child. Alexis and Sonny are at the, uh, Sonny's pet house. Not too much is going on there. Um, you know what I like? Lucy's scheming plans. Uh, like I said in my last update, she and Scott made up a plan that Scott's going to try to get with Tracy. So that Lucy and Scott can try to like take down Tracy. The Tracy Quarterman. I can't believe she's still even on. She's just done great. Tracy is too smart to be underestimated like that. I mean, she's a quarter man. Um, so Lucy and Scott acted like they were arguing. And you know who else's scheming plans I like? Felicia. And I also like she's just like Sam. Two private detectives. They're just so great. So Felicia's on a case to figure out if Mac's son is really Cody and if Cody's father is really Mac. So after Cody got his hair done for the home and heart segment with Sasha... Felicia took some of Cody's hair, and that's technically DNA of him. So she's going to go back and do another t DNA test to see if Cody and Mac are really father and son bond. Um, so, yeah. And then Sasha overheard Felicia talking with this guy. So he's going to bring that hair, the DNA of Cody B Bell, to the general hospital to, t to do the DNA test. I love what they're doing. I also want to go back to uh, Lucy and Scott for a minute. Who the heck created that storyline? Let me know down in the comments section below if you're watching this. Like, if you're like a G General Hospital producer of a soap opera, like, what the heck were you thinking? What were you thinking? Putting Scott and Tracy together. They don't match. They don't match. A lawyer and a evil blackmailing quarter man. <laughs> Doesn't work. Um, and then we got Olivia and Lois. So Olivia's at one point going to tell Lois who really turned Carly and Drew into the SEC. So Lois knows it's not Ned. She doesn't know who exactly turned Carly and Drew in. Um, that was about it. If there's anything else I forgot, you know, in the comment section below, important or not important scenes, it's going to be one of the biggest wrestling show and tells. This is Kane, and some people have posted a video on this. The hairline, it just doesn't match with it, oh, the rest of his bald head. doesn't match. Um, fun fact about him, he's the mayor of a current city and state. My first leader figure, former women's champion. She teamed with the Hardys and had a great couple chemistry in WWE with Edge. And did moon salts and did what women could not do in WWE. Mm -hmm. Then we got a shopping cart. Uh, instead of my other metal one, this is plastic. It's better. It's more material, better made. What? Then we got Biggie on an ATV, like a a, a four wheeler motorbike or something. And Miss Jennifer got you that. Yeah. Oh. Shout out to Miss Jennifer, my one of my GH followers on either Instagram or Twitter. This is your gift to me. Thank you. She's in. Uh, something I really have been waiting for for a long time. Brock Lesnar with the forklift with the palette. I've done so much with this, and I already love it so much. Thanks for watching today's update, General Hospital update of your favorite soap opera. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Also, like this video. For your Twitter friends, watch this full video on YouTube and subscribe to that channel to help us get to a thousand subscribers. See you later.